Let's discuss jump discontinuity. We'll draw a function to see it, right? I think from the diagram itself, it'll be very clear to you what this should be, right? Let me just draw one here. Let's say we have a function here, which is defined like this. And at this point A, we have from here, let's say like this, okay. So what we are trying to show here is that this point A, the function f of x, if you approach A from negative infinity, it gets to a value, let us say this value is minus 1. But at point A, it is discontinuous. Do you see that discontinuity? It all of a sudden jumps to another point, and let's say this point is plus 2 for us, right? And after A, it is always plus 2, for example. So this kind of discontinuity of function is called jump discontinuity, right? Well, we could have many functions like this. For example, let me draw a few for you. Right? We could have a function like this. Let's say this is filled up. Right? And then from somewhere else, the function starts. It could be any say, right? less like this. Right? This is not filled up. Why am I not filling it up? If I fill both them up, then that means it is no more a function, right? Because at this point, we may have two values, correct? So this is a hole, and this is a filled in. So the value of the function, let us here, is 1, and here it is, let us say, minus 2, correct? Function could be like this also. Right. And then somewhere here, we have filled up and the function is like this. So any type of function where we see at a point, there is a jump, right? That is called jump discontinuity, okay? Because there is discontinuity clearly. And this kind of a discontinuity is called jump discontinuity. So how will it define it? So we can define this as a function has a jump discontinuity if at A it has one side limit, right? It has, see, if you see from this side, it has a limit. We are approaching minus 1. And if you see A plus, it has a limit. We are approaching 2. But both the limits are not the same. So what we see here is the limit of function as x approaches a from a negative side, for example, right, exists, right? In this case, it is equals to minus 1. And c, we say limit of function f of x as x approaches a from positive side also exists, right? And in this case, it is plus 2, correct? But both the limits are not same. Do you see that? So what we see here is limit of function f of x as x approaches a from negative side is actually not equal to limit of function f of x as x approaches a from positive side. So if that is the scenario that we are approaching a from left side and for the right side, but the limits are different, then we have a case of jump discontinuity. That is the definition of jump discontinuity, okay? So, what is jump discontinuity for a function f of x? The function f of x has a jump discontinuity at x equals to a if both one-sided limits exist but are unequal. They are not same, correct? That is, limit of the function as it approaches a from left side is not equal to limit of function as x approaches a from positive side. In that case, we have a jump discontinuity, okay? You have many examples where we have jump discontinuity. Can you tell me some? Income tax brackets, for example, if you are within this bracket, this percent of interest will be charged or tax will be charged, right? Telephone bills, so many calls are free, so many calls at this rate, more than so many minutes, you will be charged that much, like that. So, there are a lot of applications of jump discontinuity, correct? And, uh, you know, you'll come across this, 
It's good to give a name and understand. And from the diagram, it's very clear what is a jump discontinuity. Okay. So you can say there's a particular function which is defined as let's say h of t is equal to zero. If you are approaching from say minus infinity to zero, right? We may include zero or we may not we'll say not in this time. And if x is between, we'll include zero here, okay? Zero to infinity, right? So that kind of function could be a jump discontinuity, right? And uh, how will you draw this? This function could be drawn like this. So as you are approaching from minus psi, this zero, then the value is zero. So you are here and this point zero is not included. Do you see that? But afterwards, it's filled up and goes like this, right? H of t, let us say this is t for us, right? There could be many functions like this and I as you know, the tax brackets are good examples, billings for telephones. These are all good examples where you see jump discontinuity. Okay, I hope you understand. Thank you.